Hey there. Um, today we're going to talk about this new uh, Tenor Telecaster that's finally finished. Um, this is Tenor, Te Tenor Telecaster number 10. Uh, this one's going out to a friend of mine. Um, and yeah, I'm super happy with it. This is like one of the one of the easiest playing Telecasters that, that I've ever made. And it sounds great too. Uh, so we'll just go over the specs a little bit and then um, we'll listen to how it sounds after that. So this one follows a lot of what I've done with my other builds. Um, there's a few innovations, there's a few new things going on here. Um, and the, probably the, the biggest one to me is the, uh, the neck. The neck now has a camber on it. So when you look down it, <laughs> just like this here, the neck is tilted a little bit this way. So it's not in plane with the top of the, uh, the guitar body. What that does is it just brings the neck uh, or the fretboard closer to the body so you don't have to play with such an acute angle with your left hand you're playing a little bit more naturally so this is this guitar but another guitar would have to be sort of down here to play the same note so that reduces a lot of strain on your left hand and it feels really great i'm so happy i did it um yeah this is definitely something i'd like to bring forward with my other builds as well another thing i've done on this one that's kind of new is i've put some uh pretty big uh roundovers here where the guitar meets the body so for the right hand there's a big round over um, and that reduces any sort of like pinching around your your arm and on the body here too in the back um, that's been rounded over as well so it's really nice and comfy uh, those are kind of like the two big uh, changes for the, the physical guitar <laughs> i've also changed and upgraded a lot of the electronics in this one as well so um, there's a new switch in here it's a uh, sort of a spring switch, kind of like you'd see on an American Kelly. Really satisfying. Got Bourne's potentiometers in here. Um, and they get a really nice beefy feel to them, and they they're really um, they're really uh, smooth and linear in the in the way that the volume and the tone um, interacts. So it's every little movement counts. Some other ones that I did didn't have that, so I'm really happy with that. There's a Solon uh, capacitor in there, a 0.022. Um, it can get really dark, not too dark, and it can also brighten up quite a bit. So I'm super happy with that one. It's also really smooth sounding as well. And I've also put in a pure tone jack down here. So that's just like rock solid. That I'm sure will never go back. I'll never use like uh, anything else. I think those, it's just like a lifetime jack. Super happy with that. So let's look at the specs here. Um, my ten Telecasters are 22 and a half inches in scale length or 574 millimeters. Um, I have 22 frets on them. And um, yeah, I guess that's the main thing for those ones. <laughs> uh, for the materials, I have a two piece alder body. The body here has a, a sunburst finish on it. So got a brown and a black and the black goes and around the outside. There's a three ply black, white, black pick guard. Uh, I think 10 screws, nine screws. This is kind of my own thing, but I, I really like that many screws on it for some reason. And I find it looks really good. We've got these uh, Firebird pickups. Uh, they've been potted and they're, they're really hot. They're definitely overwhelmed. They're like at 9K or something like that. So the mids are very forward, but you also get a good amount of bass and treble as well. Um, yeah, I find they they work really well for like any sort of distorted setting. They're really good clean as well, but uh, they really shine when you get a bit of distortion, a bit of hair, and we'll listen to that later. Uh, the pickups are also match the ca the camber on the fingerboard and on the neck, so they're a little lower on this edge, a little higher over here. But that means that they just sound balanced across the fingerboard, so no string really jumps out that much. Um, I've got a four string bridge here. This is sort of a generic one. Uh, it works fine. I'm pretty happy with it, honestly. <laughs> um, yeah, it's fine. Uh, then I've got four for rules for uh, stringing the guitar through the back. That's how I like to play most of the time. You get three countersunk washers with stainless steel um, screws in there. That's more than enough to hold this neck in place. Oh, and then there's a poly finish on the body as well. Um, and then for the neck, we have a roasted maple neck with a grandio laminate on top. Uh, for the fret fingerboard and the edges are like well rounded over so it's it's not an invisible fret but you know you you're not gonna get stopped there's no definitely no sharp ends and it feels really good on the hand 
I've added some, uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little piece of maple veneer here connecting this fret dot with this side fret dot here on all of the frets. So that looks really great. You get a lot of parallel and perpendicular lines. So the frets and the veneer are in line with each other, are parallel, and then the strings and the frets and the veneer like all come together to make this really cool matrix. So I love it. Um, we have some Goto tuners over here. These are super great. They're rock solid. Uh, really happy with those. We have a bone nut as well. Uh, bone's really good for resonance. It kind of lightens up the guitar a little bit, which is quite nice. And then there's a truss rod with the truss rod axis at the neck here. So you don't have to take the, the, the neck off to do any truss rod adjustments. Just put your Allen key in there and off you go. But to be honest, the, the, with only having four strings, I almost never use the, uh, the truss rod for all of my guitars, all my tenor guitars. Um, I might adjust it like a, an eighth of a turn, maybe a quarter turn, and then I've got it where I want it, and then it's probably just, it just doesn't move. And then with this roasted maple, that's gonna be super dimensionally stable as well. So I don't expect this one to really need much of a truss rod adjustment, like ever, unless you're going to a completely different uh, climate. <clears throat> so yeah, that's it for the materials here for this one. Um, let's have a listen to what it sounds like. Um, I'm playing a, an, an orange practice amp, uh, Tiny Terror or something like that, so it's, it's pretty hairy. Um, and yeah, we'll just listen to what, I, what that is. So, neck pickup, volume, and tone all the way up. <laughs> Sounds really great with some uh, distortion. And then the tone really has a big effect on it. So this is this is all the way dark. Tenor uh, Telecaster number 10 from Ludo Guitars. Thanks for watching. <laughs>